Hi there and welcome to Make, the visual platform where anyone can build automated workflows at the speed of their ideas. This video will show you how to build your first automated workflow from scratch. So let's jump right in and click create a new scenario. This is what we call automated workflows on Make. Building a workflow always consists of these four steps. First, you'll select a trigger. This is what will kick off your automated workflow. Then you'll select an action. This is what happens next once the workflow is started. And then you'll test your workflow to see if it works the way you want. Finally, you'll activate it so that it runs on a schedule and does all the work for you. Now let's build a workflow that informs us when our customers have questions or issues. We can collect these questions using a form. In this case, we can use a free service from Google called Google Forms. Now in this form, our customers can select the topic of their issue and add more details. Now let's make this form the starting point of our workflow. In other words, this will be the trigger of our scenario. Whenever a new form comes in, this scenario will be triggered. So let's find the Google Forms app first. Let's type that in and find Google Forms and then select Watch Responses. Now we'll need to connect our Google Forms account to Make so that Make can load the data and process them for us. This is where we'll authorize the connection. Now the next step is to select the spreadsheet where the answers from the form are collected. So the spreadsheet is called the ticketing system in our case, because this is what we're building right now. And in that spreadsheet, there's a single sheet that we need to select as well for the settings. Okay, so let's confirm the setup. And now we can tell Make where it should start looking for data. So with the choose manually option, we can look at what came in previously and select specific entries, or we can go with the all option. And that means we can just grab any existing form entry that's already there, starting from the first one. So let's confirm that. Okay, so the trigger is set up and now we'll define what should happen next. Now we could, for example, use one of our templates and send the data from the form to an email or we could use the data from the form and send it to a Slack message. Or we can assign the reported issues to different people on our team. So in this case, we decided to use a tool called Trello, which allows you to manage work with these cards. So every time a new question comes in, it's turned into a card like this, and then you can drag and drop these cards to change their status. In this way, you can track and manage the completion of the tasks. So let's build exactly that. Click add another module and find the Trello app. Now this app has a lot of different actions that we can do, but we're interested in creating cards. So let's select create a card. Now we can authorize the connection or select a previously used connection. Next, we'll select a list from within Trello. We created before and it's called the ticketing system. So let's select that here. Here for the list option, we'll tell Make where to put the new questions. So we're going to select new ticket because new questions coming in should be marked as new tickets. The next step is to define how the data coming in from the forms should be handled in Trello. So let's see how to do that. When I click the name field here, I can choose what the card in Trello should be called and I can use the data from the form to do this. In this panel, I can choose the topic from the form and it's going to be used as the name of the newly created card. This is essentially taking data from one app and putting it inside another app. So let's do the same for the description field here. There we can use the description of the issue from the form and we can also add the contact details of the customer. Okay, so let's confirm the setup. Now we can move on to the testing step because our workflow has both a trigger and an action. So to test your workflow, click the run once button. So the green check marks tell us that the run was successful. And now we can check in Trello that the new cards were created. So we can see two new cards were added here and that means that the workflow worked as expected. Now that we've tested our workflow, it's time to activate it. So to do that, use the scheduling switch here to turn it on. Now it's gonna run on a schedule. The interval is 15 minutes by default, but you can adjust that as you want. And that's it. Make will now run this workflow for you. I hope this was helpful and that you'll enjoy building visual workflows with Make.